I'm Jed Wallace and this is the Albion Boys. <laughs> um, easy, it's the easiest question I'll get all day. 100% Brandon, Thomas Asante, I mean, it, everything is so tight, so tight, never ironed, don't think he owns an iron. So I think between the boys, we need to get him an iron, but that's, that's an easy one and he knows it himself. Um, so that I'm sure he'll accept that. Swifty, he takes his fashion very seriously, Swifty. Um, some of it's really good. Well, I'm quite a bog standard Reese mannequin myself, so I don't really like to take too many risks where Swifty can come in and yeah, he looks great sometimes and then other times uh, you come in with an orange, yellow and green cardigan on. It looks like his nan's near it with a blindfold on, so probably uh, it's controversial. Uh, but yeah, the worst is, is definitely Brandon. Oh, that's a good one. Obviously, I'm in charge of the fines now, so the lads that fund the Christmas party and the donation that we make to the Albion Foundation normally is Grady Dean Garner, John Swift, Jason Malumbi, Brandon, um, who else? Like Okai is another one, which finds that normally late, all of them five are good for a late. Um, but what else do I get? Leaving protein bottle laying around everywhere. Okai loves that one, easy one. Um, not wearing flip flops when you should, flip flops in the gym, um, phone in a physio room, all these kind of stuff. So yeah, we. Um, it's, it's always the same people, like I say, so they must have a lot of money that they want to keep giving me every Friday. <laughs> Jason Malumbi. Easiest question I'll ever answer. Don't need to say any more. Angriest man alive. He's just, yeah, ang very, very angry guy. Um, hates losing. Like, even when he gets fined. If he gets fined, he will then walk around with a clipboard trying to get everyone else fined. Not to drive standards, just out of pure anger and bitterness to try and get something out of anyone else. So it's, it's easily, I've known Jace obviously a long time. Um, yeah, he's a very angry little guy for sure. <laughs> We've got a few to be fair, probably, it's definitely not me. I would say probably Matty Phillips is a bit of a monster in the gym. Um, Likes to walk around with his top off as well. To be fair, if I had a body like his, I'd, I'd probably do the same. So I can't blame him too much. It would have been tailed. Obviously, he's not here at the moment. He's out alone, but that was a uh, nailed on. Um, least intelligent now. But Jace, got a bit Jason there on that one as well. Giving him a bit of a tough time here. Jason. Um, we're, not, we're actually not that bad, to be fair. Swift, Swifty ain't great. He ain't great, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll probably give it to Jace again, to be honest. No, he's not going to be happy. He's never happy anyway, like I said, so it's just another reason for him to be angry. <laughs> right, again, again, I don't want to keep saying it. I, I know I'm not on a witch hunt for him, but Jace, he, Jace will come out for a coffee and then he'd, as long as he's not paying. And if I say, right, it's your turn to pay, pay for the coffee, mate, it gets his phone out and he's got this tap roulette thing. So we try any way he can to avoid paying. He won't just ever go, let me get these. He's up there, Brandon. Brandon's another one up there. I don't know if it's because he spends all his money, obviously, getting fined. Um, but yeah, that's, um, there's a few up there for that one, definitely. I'd like to put myself in that one, to be fair. Pundit, myself, who else? Bart's, Bart's as well. I'd be quite good at that. Uh, who else? Darnell. I know another one. Yeah, we've got, we've got a few. Um, Okai, I'd quite like to listen to Okai just because his, his accent is uh, is brilliant and some of his English is still a little bit rogue, so he's, he's definitely comical value. Um, Okai, yeah, Okai would be great actually, yeah. The lads are playing chess against each other quite a lot at the moment and um, Okai, you just hear him go, ah, this is big mistake or something like that. Um, so yeah, he's Okai. Okai would, uh, he famously said last season that his England's not very good when he was trying to answer a question. Uh, I think he meant his English. So yeah, Okai is um, very funny with, with his English and I think he I think he speaks better English than he lets on, but I think he quite likes that the, the lad's kind of quite funny with it. So I'd say Okai would be uh, very funny behind the camera for sure. Oh, 
feel like that. There's a lot that are right. I'd go the other way of it. I feel like if I, I can ring Palms at any point or Swifty, and they would always answer. Probably they're just sitting on their phones at home, doing nothing because they ain't got, ain't got kids yet, because they've got no responsibilities, just scrolling through their phone all day. Um, not answer the phone. I don't know. I don't know on that one. I feel like the lads, the lads, are, the lads are pretty good on that one. To be fair, I won't, I won't hang anyone out. I won't blame Jason for that one. I like to blame him for everyone else, but on that one, yeah, I think the lads are right. <laughs> if I was on the just, yeah. Brand, Brandon, Brandon, it's just the late, it's the lateness of Brandon. Like he, he could just, he could, he's always happy to turn up. He turns up every day. We've got to be at nine thirty. He strolls in at nine twenty-eight with a Costa in his hand, like he's had no stress in the world. And I just think, mate, how do you do it? I've got to be here at nine o'clock, otherwise I'm panicking. Um, Brandon, I'll give him Brandon and Jason a bit of a tough rap here. Um, need to say that they are. Great lads, obviously very popular in the dressing room, but unfortunately for them, it's been a bad set of questions for them both. <laughs>